Hi everyone, this is Chris with Ad Bailey Technology Consulting and today we're going to go through how to create and run dynamic allocation schedules using NetSuite's allocation engine. So this is really for any NetSuite customers that need to manage the allocation of expenses after they've been incurred. Allocation schedules will allow you to distribute expenses across departments, classes, locations, and even custom segments, really saving you time uh, that's required to enter complex journal entries. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have all the appropriate features set up in the system to be able to run these dynamic allocations. So to be able to check that, we're going to navigate to Setup, Company, Enable Features. And then on the Enable Features page, we're going to toggle to the Accounting sub-tab, scroll down, and if you have the expense allocation feature available here, you will see that you can enable that and then you'd want to enable dynamic allocations and also statistical accounts. These statistical accounts are very important as they're going to be driving a lot of the allocations that we make here. So now that we've seen we've got everything enabled that needs to be, we're going to navigate to our list of allocation schedules. So we'll go back to our home page and we'll actually use our reminders portlet to pull that up. So here we can see our three allocation schedules. We have a department rent allocation, a professional fees allocation, and a utilities by headcount allocation. We're going to use our utilities by headcount allocation, and I will show you what that looks like. So here on the allocation screen itself, you can see some generic information about the allocation schedule itself, the name, the entity, the frequency, uh, the next date that you're going to run and a subsequent date as well. And then you can choose uh, to remind forever or to use a remaining amount, whether that be 12 months for a year, six months, just depending on how long you want to run this schedule. So when you select the dynamic allocation mode, you will get this drop down of all these different fields that you can select the weight source which will bring in the unit type and also the unit of measure. And then you'll want to select a date basis for how long you want NetSuite to calculate the balance within those statistical accounts. Scrolling down here, we can see our source and destination sub tabs here. So this is really important to designate what accounts we're going to be pulling these expenses from and where we're going to be putting those expenses to. So we are taking the expenses associated with this expense account for our utilities and we're going to break that up across our different departments based on headcount. So you can see here that we have a balance within this statistical account representative of all the employees within the specific department. So what that does is that will actually drive the weight of that specific department within this allocation and when we create the journal entries we will then see exactly how it breaks out that amount based on that balance and that weight. So if we scroll up here we can see we have a button to create our journal entry. So when we create our journal entry we will be taken to the page where we can see the automated journal entry that was created based on that dynamic allocation. And if we scroll down here, we can see the amounts, the debits and credits that the system automatically created for us based on those weights that were calculated from the balances within that statistical account. So based on the schedule and how long you have it running, this can really help when entering in more complex journal entries that are based on some statistical information within the account. So if we scroll up here, and click approve we will go and post that journal entry to our general ledger and if we come back to our dashboard and refresh our reminders we'll see that that allocation schedule has been completed and we are all set to move on to the next and that is how you create and run a dynamic allocation schedule 
You can also read more about expense allocations in the Help Center and in Sweet Answers for some additional context and use cases. And as always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. So please click the link below to get in touch. Thank you.